Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn Arabic naturally using the speech of Abu Ubaida. I guess by now you already know who Abu Ubaida is. If not, go back to my previous videos. The concept is easy. We will see together the video, then I will explain it word by word. So I will make sure at the end of it that you will fully understand its speech, even if you know zero Arabic. Let's get started. ويقف شعبنا أمام عدوان أمريكي صهيوني غير مسبوق في التاريخ لتؤسس هذه المعركة بقدر الله تعالى لمرحلة جديدة ليس على مستوى غزة وفلسطين بل على مستوى العالم مرحلة عنوانها أن الحق لا ينتزع إلا بالقوة والسلاح وأن على كل طالب حق أن لا ينتظر سرابا من قوى دولية First of all, I'm going to present a list of nouns. Just listen, relax, and memorize. First word, عدوان. عدوان means aggression or hostility. When someone behaves aggressively, we describe his act as عدوان. Next, we have the phrase غير مسبوق. غير مسبوق means unprecedented or and parallel. It refers to something that has never happened before. When you witness something unique or exceptional, something that you have never experienced before, we describe it as غير مسبوق. Next, we have the phrase قدر الله. It means the will of God. When we put it in a sentence, it conveys the same meaning as inshallah, if God wills. It is used by al-Muslimin to express their intention to do something. At the same time, acknowledging that the outcome or the final result lays in the hands of the God of Allah. Next, we have talibu haq. Haq is the right or the justice. And talib is a seeker. So talibu haq is the seeker of right or the seeker of truth. Finally, we have sarab. Sarab is mirage. It is an illusion caused by atmospheric condition. Usually we use it in a sentence to express something that will never happen, something misleading or illusory. Now it's time to see some verbs. So I will explain some verbs and the grammar rules behind them. First verb, yunteza. We use it with the pronoun huwa. We say huwa yunteza. And it means to be pulled out forcefully or to be extracted. For example, الحق لا ينتزع إلا بالقوة والسلاح. So the right or what is just is not given in sweet hands. Instead, it is extracted or it is pulled out from its place by force and weapon. Final verb, تمرست. We use it with the pronoun هي. We say هي تمرست. And it means she practiced or she exercised. For example, على كل طالب حق أن لا ينتظر سرابا من قوى دولية تمرست على قهر الشروق. All right, we come to the final step, putting everything together, the nouns, the verbs, the examples to understand the whole speech of Abu Ubaidah. ويقف شعبنا أمام عدوان أمريكي صهيوني غير مسبوق في التاريخ لتؤسس هذه المعركة بقدر الله تعالى لمرحلة جديدة ليس على مستوى غزة وفلسطين بل على مستوى العالم مرحلة عنوانها أن الحق لا ينتزع إلا بالقوة والسلاح وأن على كل طالب حق أن لا ينتظر سرابا من قوى دولية تمرست على قهر الشعوب واستعباد الأمم. If you miss a word, an Arabic or an English one, or you think I am talking too fast, don't worry. I provided the transcript by clicking on the CC button down the video. Also, I welcome your comments, suggestions, thoughts about this lesson, the websites, and everything else. So please. Share your thoughts on the comment section below. I read all of them. Also, I welcome you to visit our website 
talkarabictoday.com where you can get our premium course designed for beginners who want to master Arabic and speak it fluently. Not just speak it, also writing it and understanding it, just like a native speaker. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.